Chuda preguntó por si teníamos otro grupo adicional a este, pero solo de Satsan, porque también tenemos de grupos satsan. donde nos juntamos a leer Charambi. Uh, we, we join to there are a group uh, other times we use uh, I know. Zoom uh, to, to read uh, Charambi. The, uh, All right. Not Satsan, not Satsan. I know. Okay, so maybe it was the same. I don't remember, but there were... I, I couldn't recognize any of the names and they were doing Charan Vidi. And so I said, am I in the wrong room? So that's when I asked Cecilia and uh, and you about the group, you see, the ID, room ID. Okay. Uh, well, highest uh, namaskars to the Paramatma presence within a Paramatma presence of each one of you. Hmm? Please accept our namaskars as we begin our satsang of the 22nd of June, 2022. Hmm? Uh -huh. What's that? Are, are you listening? Yeah. Me escuchan bien a mí? Uh, Me what's happening? Are you not able to hear? Se te ha escuchado mejor, Pati. Anila, ¿me escuchas bien ahora? Sí, ahora sí. Gracias. Okay. All right, good. Okay, Anila. All right. Jay <laughs> Sachitanan. All right. Um, so, um, uh, do you like to do uh, Vyavasit or do you want to do uh, the uh, flawless vision today? Eh, ¿Quieres hacer eh, visión impecable o ya va a ser el día de hoy? Pregunta Chuda. Mm, no, we did the Vyavasit the last. Mm, uh, on June, were... in, in June 8th, did we do Vyavasit? Vyavasit, yes. Yeah. June 8th, right? I will, I will tell you. Uh, uh, yes, we did Vyavasit 2603. Oh, June, June, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, June 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, Somebody said we have a sit. All right, so we continue with we have a sit. Hmm? So we will have another session of we have a sit. Hmm? The last one was uh, at the sutra 3603. At 3603, huh? Yes, yes. Uh, 3603, or it's as uh, the two apt of sutra 2600. 2603, yeah, 2603, yes, yes. 2603. Yes, 2603. That, that was the last time. Right, right. Uh, uh, okay, 2603. I'm looking for it here in my Gujarati, but let me share. Hmm? Uh, let me share this uh, screen here. Hmm? Are we doing Romanda today? What's that? We, uh, to, today? Another so, sutra, uh, yeah, we have a set today, right? We are doing a, we have a set today, huh? Because that's yes. what, yes, we will do page 40, and so we go now more into uh, further, okay? Uh, VASS. Mm -hmm. Uh, VSS PDF June 8th. Let me pull it out and page 40 we did. Hmm? So we go into uh, go beyond page 40. I'm pulling it out hmm, for you. Uh, 32, 35. 
uh, yes, 2603, we did that beautiful sutra. And now, yeah, the, the 2603 sutra was that with the support of the knowledge of Vyavasthit and the awakened awareness or the Jagruti as the self, one can be in Sanyam, which is uh, absence, uh, uh, not only absence, but a state that is free of anger, pride, deceit, and greed. Hmm? Uh, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. Now, do you, another question to all of you, um, do you want to, um, do you want to listen to some old words of Dada, old, old means, <laughs> there are no words of Dada that are old, but, uh, you know, from uh, a satsang of Dada, in the early, in the late 60s. Do you want to listen to some of those words or shall we go straight to Vyavasthit? What did she say? What are, what are they saying? You are the, the one who knows what, what is the best. Well. And yeah, we love uh, everything. <laughs> so let me pull out some words. This is on the 12th of, sorry, on the 13th of December 1967, Dada was, our Dadaji, <clears throat> our dearest Dada was in Vadodara. Hmm? He was in Vadodara. He, um, there he was and <clears throat> And he says that this soul will not be understood <clears throat> with intellect. But with intellect you can only understand uh, that which leads to the soul. You cannot really understand by, so there are two ways of understanding. He says, uh, you will, Atma uh, samjai karano samjai. You know, in other words, you will be unable to understand its causes, causes of the soul uh, through the intellect, but you will not be able to understand anything more than that. Causes of the soul means, uh, the, that which is related to the soul, you know, not the exact experience of the soul, but that which is related to the soul. Hmm? Yeah. In December 1967, Dada Sri Salam Bangora said that this soul does not understand with the intellect. And with the intellect, you can understand the causes of the soul, the related to pero no tenés la experiencia. Con el ego no se puede entender otra cosa. Yes, um, understood through intellect, you see. Mm -hmm. But then what about the intellect? And so the next words, next words of Dada are interesting. He says, whatever intellect we have today, each one of us, whatever intellect we have today uh, is... Uh, uh, is the result of uh, of the it 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 is the result of the collection of that intellect uh, of infinite previous lives infinite previous lives uh, it's a, it's it's the result of that uh, uh, and the result of that is the current intellect, you see. Hmm? 
cualquier intelecto que tengamos hoy en día es el resultado de todos los intelectos que hemos tenido en vidas previas, infinitas vidas previas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, the result of such intellect is, you see, the result of this intellect that has arisen out of infinite previous lifetimes is that a human being understands what is of benefit for him or her and what is uh, hurtful for him or her in life, you see. Hmm? Um, ¿Sí? Mm. Yeah. Eh, mm. el, el resultado de este intelecto, de, que es el resultado de muchas vidas pasadas, es que se puede llegar a entender que, que es beneficioso para estar y que es doloroso. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the Gnani Purush never forgets, uh, never uh, deviates from what is beneficial for him, for the self, that is rising higher and higher, and what is hurtful for the hell self that is rising higher and higher. Pote. Pote means the, uh, the eye that is going towards moksha, you see? Uh, hmm? towards moksha. All eyes of this universe are going towards moksha. All eye. Pote. Hmm? Yes. Mm -hmm. eh, el, el Nani Purush nunca olvida lo que es beneficioso para su ser y que entonces surge y, y, y lo, lo eleva. Y el pote es el yo que va atrás del mo, de moksha, que va a moksha. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Thank you, dear Marcella. And uh, uh, you see, if you say, uh, if you understand, we all understand that all eyes of this world, anything that is living, uh, uh, has an eye inside, you know, uh, but that eye in plants and trees and in animals is densely covered, you know, with uh, ignorance. In human beings too, when they come in the human state, in, they are densely covered with a lot of layers of ignorance and uh, and then through the develop through this intellect that develops life after life uh, one the intellect also is associated with what is beneficial for me and what is not beneficial for me this is not about moksha this is about what is good for me in life what will help me in life and what will hurt me in life you see hmm? Eh, eh, si entiendes esto, es todo, todo lo que, que todos son los seres vivientes que tienen, tienen un ser dentro, ¿no? Por ejemplo, las plantas, los árboles este, pues, están cubiertos de ignorancia. Pero cuando se llega a, a, al estado de ser humano, este, los velos de ignorancia, de ese intelecto eh, que se fue desarrollando a través de infinitas vidas, puede reconocer qué es lo que es bueno. Eh, y que lo ayuda en su desarrollo o qué es lo que eh, es doloroso. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the intellect develops, you see, this intellect, life after life develops to the point where it reaches a stage where the awareness of another life after this life begins, you see, in other words, uh, and, and that is associated with the awareness that 
there has been a previous life. So though uh, there is a previous life, there is this life, and then there is one, there is a future life as a human being or in another body. You see that awareness is uh, is also a part of the developing uh, developing intellect, you see, because all answers cannot be received just by awareness of this life only, you see. Uh, you need uh, cause and effect relationships, you see. You need cause and effect relationships. Hmm? Yeah. El, el intelecto se desarrolla hasta que alcanza el estado de que puede comenzar a ver de que hay otra vida aparte de esta, ¿no? Una vida pasada, una vida presente y una vida futura. Y eso lo lleva al desarrollo del intelecto de que pueda llegar a entender que todo es causa y efecto. No, begins to understand life after life you see in other words life after life you know yeah, after life you see this this is a clear distinction you see the uh, uh, you know uh, you see the, now you and i can see that those who do not believe in another life uh, have have an incomplete development of incomplete understanding because not because there is something wrong with their intellect it is simply because it is because their intellect needs to develop further you know and it's not something that you can push on them you know oh it their time hasn't come yet hmm? um entender este, la vida después de la vida es una, es una clara distinción y podemos ver que las personas que no creen en esto eh, les falta un entendimiento para poder tener el desarrollo eh, el desarrollo del intelecto necesario mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know the dada had a dada in those days in the early in those days would speak spontaneously one topic to the other to the other whatever whatever he spoke it was associated with gnan or knowledge you see he had so much vision that had opened up he had so much that had opened up that whatever he spoke about was associated with that it was part of that absolute knowledge, keyword gnan, yes, in knowledge. Hmm? Yes. The data, in the beginning, when he spoke, he spoke in a very spontaneous way. And everything he said was related to the vision that he had, and everything was related to the knowledge, to the keyword gnan. Gnan. You know, and Shuddha is not a cook, but I, therefore, you know, you will have to get from your Indian Mahatma, Lady Mahatma friends, the exact uh, uh, equivalent of these words that I just shared. Because now Dada switched to uh, food, you see, he, he just talked about in uh, developing the, uh, the, the nature of the intellect of human beings, and then he switches to... Uh, uncooked food uh, he says food that is not been cooked and versus food uh, that is cooked you see and now as you know uh, you some of you may know we have a very big book coming out on the science of food and food intake you see food and food intake it's it's being prepared in Gujarati, it will come out <laughs> in the sometime. Uh, it's called Ahar Vignan. Ah, ah, har Vignan. In as a science of intake, in fact, uh, you know this mouth is really, uh, any mouth is associated with intake. Yes, eh? hmm. every, any mouth is as, whether it is the mouth of a little. Uh, animal, bird, 
human beings, you see. Hmm? Uh, and the science of food intake is coming out. But this is, this sentence is directly related. This paragraph that I'm sharing with you now is directly related to uh, that science. Hmm? Eh, bueno, ahora estas palabras que acaba de decidir Suda, este, hay que preguntarle a las, a las señoras este, de India este, sobre esto, porque hay comida que es cocinada y comi versus comida que no está cocinada. Ahora va a salir un libro que se llama A Hard Vietnam y habla de esto, ¿no? de la comida, la comida que se toma y la comida que no se toma. Y cualquier animal, puede ser un pájaro, cualquiera, eh, toma esta comida o, eh, o no. So, I know, so, I know, uh, is, uh, the, so the other she is saying is that uh, human beings should not eat uncooked food. He begins with that. He, he says human beings should not eat uncooked foods. Hmm? Ah, desde que está diciendo que los seres humanos no deberían de comer comida no cocinada. Generally should avoid eating food that is not cooked. Hmm? Uh, en general evitar la comida en exceso de alimentos sin cocina. If you cannot get anything else, just uh, fast, okay? No, he says, if you, if you cannot get cooked food, Fast, you know, avoid eating uncooked food. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Este, si no consigues comida que esté cocinada, evítalo, trata de no comerla. But if you can't do without it, you're very hungry, then if you have to eat uncooked food, then make sure that you chew it well. Hmm? Third sentence. Hmm? Fati, disculpa, pregúntale si eso incluye la fruta que la comemos cruda acá, ¿no? Por favor. Also fruits. Oh, fruit is no fruit is natural. You know, he's talking generally about you know the food that we all eat. You know, fruit is natural. You can eat fruits and you know, but you cannot eat vegetables directly, you have to cook them, you know, hmm? you know. Uh, all, all kind of vegetables, because we eat a lot of... Uh, salads, salads are different, yeah. salads are different, you see, but, you know, the other, remember the other was in, and the other was in India, you know, and uh, yes, in, in, the other is speaking in general, he's coming to something interesting that I want to, sh uh, I want to... Okay. You know, uh, okay. frutas y comida sí, y recordemos que Dada está hablando de India y eso nos va a llevar a otro tema. Este, pero eh, masticar muy bien la comida cruda. Este, uh, claro, para mí, frutas y vegetales de ensalada, como hacemos siempre, todo bien. El otro tipo son los granos y las hortalizas, que es lo que más se usa ya. O eso que dice ahí es mostaza, fenogreco, todas esas las palabritas que dijo que teníamos que investigar que eran. Ya sabes algo vos, yo solo agarré mostaza. Thank you. Uh, what, what, what did you say, Fabi, my dear? Hmm? That the I, kind I, of I, food you write is uh, the kind of grains and, and things you really have to cook to eat, not uh, yeah, right. the because... value. Even vegetables are considered a fruit of the plant, right? Like, a, a, like a, uh, you know, every vegetable is a fruit of a plant. You cannot eat uh, potatoes. Uh, you have to cook them, you know. Uh, you cannot eat uh, eggplant directly. You have to somehow cook them, you see. Hmm? Um, for example, the papas, they have to cook them. They can't eat them crudas. Este, así con mm. Now, now, it says, uh, uh, it says, now, it says, uh, uh, you, you have to give every kind of food, every kind of food has to be given its associated, um, 
and there is a, I'm so sorry that I have to give you all of these words in Gujarati because there is no equivalent you see um, since uh, first is the Vagar you see Vagar which I just added which is the you know if you watch if you watch many of you have come into India or Indian homes and you've seen or have had Indian food you've seen that all these Indian vegetables uh, have, are kind of boiled first or cooked first but then they there is this vagar added to it there is this, there is a mixture of spice and oil that uh, has to be prepared in a certain way and then added in onto the onto the vegetable right hmm? yes hmm. Este, bueno, la venta tenemos que decir no todas estas palabras, pero bueno, cabe. Este, toda clase de comida, por ejemplo, que se come en India, este, lo, son vegetales que tienen que ser hervidos. Y después, aparte, se prepara una mezcla de especias y aceite, que después todo eso eh, se, se junta con los vegetales. Y uh, so the next word is uh you know there is a very specific and this has gone on this is a method that has gone on in the uh, indian subcontinent for centuries and centuries and centuries uh there is uh, and there is a science behind behind this you see this i ha i gave i gave a list of one two three four five one two three four five uh, one, two, three, four, five fundamental ingredients, you know, spices that are that are used according to how they are associated with a particular vegetable, you see, mm? sanskar, you know. Mm? Uh, yes. Mm. Um, eh, sanskar es la forma en que debe de ser cocinado y nos dio cuatro o cinco clases de condimentos para ser eh, combinados con determinada clase de vegetales. Yeah, uh, oh, you know, certain vegetables can only be cooked with uh, some of these ingredients, you know, and I and the others can be are cooked with some other ingredients and this is not something that you know shuddha can just go to the kitchen and add this is where the cook is needed this is where the ladies are needed because they know which which of these go with which vegetable you see hmm? Eh, algunos vegetales van con cierta clase de ingredientes y otros van con otra clase de ingredientes. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are these uh, five fundamental spices, you see. I know mustard seeds and then I know S for S for tida. Uh, I don't know. Uh, then there is uh, I, I, I see them, but I don't know how what you call them in English. So check with your the Indian ladies and they will tell you, okay? Or you look it up on the internet, you know. Uh, is, you know. Uh, the reason for the reason, uh, can you imagine our Gnani Purush Dada Shri is saying that these foods that are not to be eaten raw but are are uh, have to be prepared have, require this specific combination of spices so that they will not affect your body and they will be they will give you healthy nourishment you see and increase your immune responses you see hmm? mm -hmm. Eh, presentando eh, estas, estas combinaciones para que los alimentos no solamente sean eh, que te den una muy buena nutrición, este, una buena alimentación, sino también que sea fa eh, sabroso y fácil de digerir. Mm -hmm. And with this right combination of, uh, of this vagar, you see this, uh, vagar is simply you take a copper, tiny little copper vessel, you know, it's uh, and you put some oil in it and then you put this very tiny little half a teaspoon of each one of these two or three of these 
uh, spices until they start popping. You know, the oil is very hot and then they start popping. You know, these seeds will pop. And when these seeds pop, they explode with the natural flavors that are now ready to be added to these vegetables that have been cut, you know, and uh, are ready to be cooked further, you know. Hmm? Estos, este, eh, vagar, por ejemplo, es una vasija de, de cobre, al cual se le pone aceite y luego se le ponen la, la, las pequeñas semillas, ¿no? O sea, se seque, que cuando se van en contacto con el aceite que está caliente, explotan, explota con todo su sabor para después ser agregados a todos los vegetales que fueron previamente hervidos o cocinados. And then, uh, you know, so the Indian uh, food is essentially vegetarian uh, uh, for some, has been for like that for centuries until, you know, things changed. <clears throat> uh, and, you know, they, with you have, as you know, there are different kinds of grains rich in protein. They're called dals, you know, the yellow and beans, etc., uh, proteins. And in the same kind of agar, this kind of agars, after this had, these seeds are boiled, if the, the, the uh, grains are boiled, then you add the agar in it. You add the salt, pepper, whatever, say lemon, etc., and your dal is ready, you know, your, your soup is ready, you see. Hmm? Eh, la comida en India eh, siempre ha sido vegetariana por, por siglos. Este, y bueno, hay diferentes este, proteínas que tienen en estos granos y, y da, este, como que se cocinan estos granos y después se le agregan esto, este, estas semillas especies que fueron preparadas en aceite y ahí tienes eh, tu sopa. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, so this, this, we look forward to, Dada has taken each one of these uh, kinds of veget, you know, roots and vegetables and things like that and has talked about it. He did not, you know, it, he, he is going to educate even the best Indian lady cooks, you see. <laughs> they know it from their mothers, but Dada is coming from a different angle, you know, in terms of the health of the, the body, uh, the, you know, from, he can see what is good for you, the, you, the body, that, uh, you know, what is good for the body, you see. Hmm? Okay. Este, eh, Dada tenía eh, estas, él hablaba de estas, de las raíces, él hablaba de los vegetales, él educaba a todas las, las mujeres de, de India que, que sabían cocinar. Lo que pasa es que él podía ver tu cuerpo y qué era lo que te hacía bien, qué era lo bueno para que tu cuerpo esté mejor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Es, uh... Big science behind it, a very huge science, uh, see, uh, which will be revived in the book. Uh, but I, I see a few of these words here, and, and I, I thought they looked very interesting. Uh, uh, so that's what, and this is scientific circumstantial evidence that this way you got to know how very little I know about cooking. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yes. We have a, we need some satan with your wife. Yeah, Nima is the expert. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Eh, bueno, todo, toda esta gran ciencia de la que está hablando Suda este, va a estar en el libro y como verán, todo esto son evidencias científicas circunstanciales. Pero que Nima mm -hmm. podría darnos un satan de comida que cocina como los dioses. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'll share these lines with her because I, she hasn't read this. And this uh, five ingredients, the five spices, I'm going to get the exact Indian and um, the English words. And so next time, remind me, I will share them with you. Okay, the, what what methi means, what rai means, what ajmo means, and you know, what generally, because she even sometimes for upset stomachs, she will use some of these things, you know, and just directly says, puts them in the mouth or, you know, 
and uh, so I've, I've seen many ladies do that too you know so so this has got they have got uh, med natural medita me medicinal values you see mm -hmm. Esta va a compartir esta línea con, con su esposa Ninda, este, que cocina bárbaro, y, y le va a preguntar sobre estas especies, porque él observa que en determinados momentos directamente se agarra las, estas especies, sus semillas se las pone en la boca, y es algo que es muy natural que hacen las mujeres este, de India, y es una medicina que es absolutamente natural. Yeah, so should that move on. I'm going to now start sharing our uh, uh, April, no, yeah, this one, <clears throat> this, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, yeah, yeah, right, uh, the Apta Sutras, so we go to the Apta Sutras. Hmm? <clears throat> and uh, we went into this very beautiful, you know, this thing is a magnificent, this just, Get it in your heart. After Sutra 2951, it is magnificent. No, not that one. Uh, what was it? Uh, the, uh, the one that we said the, with the knowledge of Yavastit. Uh, yes. We just saw that. Hmm? Uh, did... Uh, with the support of the knowledge of Vyavasthit and the awakened awareness as the self, one can be free of anger, pride, deceit and greed. Hmm? Completely. Hmm? Con el apoyo del conocimiento de Vyavasthit, la conciencia despierta a Sagruti, como el ser, uno puede estar en Sayyam, un estado libre de ira, orgullo, engaño, codicia, apego y aversión completamente. Hmm. <laughs> It is a very, very magnificent, you see. Mm. Uh, and so now we move to the next sutra. And, uh, <clears throat> and let me, the next sutra. Yeah, this was all about getting in and out of the car. And now the next sutra is Apta Sutra 2958, okay? Yes. And, and that sutra is the part except for the pure self is the Prakriti or the non-self complex and the work that is done by the Prakriti and all the external circumstances coming together that is Vyavasthit. And that is Apta Sutra 2958. And We, we read further because this is uh, this is besides the pure soul what other part remains the prakriti remains it is the one it is the one with false you see Whatever the Prakriti does, you are neither to say, do it with vigor, nor you are, are you to say, don't do it. You should remain as the knower, seer. Then it is Vyavasthita. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. Además, el alma pura, ¿qué otra parte permanece? El prakruti es el que tiene todos los efectos. Cualquier cosa que hace el prakruti, tú no debes decir, hazlo con vigor, ni tampoco debes decir, no lo hagas. Tú debes permanecer como el conocedor y observador. Entonces, el diablo. Yeah. You see, this emphasis here is then. 
this word then. You should remain as an overseer, then it is vyavasthit. Hmm? Acá está esta palabra que then, entonces, este, que es después de que tú permaneces como el observador y el conocedor. Y entonces es vyavasthit. Hmm. Questioner, is there actually a relationship between prakruti and vyavasthit? Pregunta, ¿existe realmente una relación entre Prakruti y Yavastit? Mm -hmm. And the other she replies, they are both related. A true relationship is indeed between the two. The two indeed have a true relationship. But if ever the ego does not interfere, then everything is vyavasthit at that time. But the ego is alive, is it not? Mm -hmm. Tadashi dice, ambos están relacionados. Una verdadera relación hay de hecho entre los dos. Los dos tienen en efecto una verdadera relación. Pero si alguna vez el ego no interfiere, entonces todo es vyavasthit en ese momento. And the questioner then says, asks, but at present, whatever a living being, otherwise Jeev, is experiencing, is his Vyavasit based on his Prakruti? Whatever. Pero en la actualidad, todo lo que experimenta un ser vivo es un yavasit basado en su prakruti. Now, the word, this word jiv, jiv is associated with that part uh, which is called the one that lives and dies. You see, the one that lives and then dies, that is Jeev, you see. Hmm? Mm -hmm. uh, eh, acá hay una palabra que es Jeev y esta palabra es eh, parte, de, eh, tiene que ver con la parte que nace y muere. And so the, again we read, so at present whatever a Jeev is experiencing, hmm? Uh, is his vyavasthit based on his prakruti? Hmm? Yeah. Uh, and... Uh, Oh, I just noticed. Uh, uh, yes, okay. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just simultaneously reading the Gujarati just to be absolutely sure, okay? So anyway, so the other Shri replies, Prakruti and Vyavasthit, they are both verily the same. But the ego interferes, it does not leave the prakruti alone. So it cannot be called vyavasthit. It is a different matter after we remove the ego. Then the prakruti is called vyavasthit. Then it is called vyavasthit. Except for the pure soul, shuddhatma, everything else is the prakruti. Whatever is done, it is all done by the Prakruti. Mm -hmm. Prakruti y Yavastit, ambos son realmente lo mismo. Pero el ego interfiere y no deja al Prakruti en paz. Así que no puede ser llamado Yavastit. Es un asunto diferente. Después de que nosotros quitamos el ego, entonces se llama Yavastit. Excepto el alma pura. 
Sudatma. Todo lo demás es el Prakruti. Mm -hmm. Todo lo que se hace es hecho por el Prakruti. In other words, Prakruti minus ego is equal to Vyavasthit. You see? You take away the ego from the Prakruti, then everything is Vyavasthit. Hmm? Yes. Entonces, si al Prakruti le sacamos el ego, lo que queda es Vyavasthit. Mm -hmm. Questioner, what is the difference between Vyavasthit Shakti the energy of scientific circumstantial evidence and prakruti. Hmm? Pregunta, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre Yavasit Shakti, la energía de evidencia científica circunstancial, y prakruti? Uh, and the other Sri replies, <clears throat> the only difference is that prakruti is with ego, and thus it alters Vyavasthit. It changes Vyavasthit. Therefore, if the ego is removed from it, then everything is precisely Vyavasthit. If one that is interfering is removed, if one, if no one to interfere remains, then everything is Vyavasthit. It interferes, and that is why this worldly life prevails. Prevails means it continues. This continues. Nada hmm? se dice. La única diferencia es que el prakruti está con el ego, y por lo tanto altera ya bastante. Por lo tanto, si el ego es removido de él, entonces todo es precisamente ya bastante. Si se elimina el que interfiere, si no queda nadie que interfiera, entonces todo es ya vacío. El ego interfiere y es por eso que esta vida mundana persiste. Mm -hmm. You can also say. The, yeah, all right. So, questioner. So, prakruti minus the ego is equal equal to vyavasthit shakti. Is that right? Prakruti minus the ego is equal to vyavasthit shakti. Is that right? Entonces, mm -hmm. eh, pregunta. Eh, prakruti menos el ego es igual a vyavasthit shakti. Es así. And the other she says, uh, yes. This ego that is within interferes and that is why worldly life persists if it does not interfere then there is no problem but after it ah, correction after attaining this gnan you do not have you do not have anyone to interfere so then it is vyavasthit Dada dice, Dada se dice, si este ego que está dentro interfiere, y por eso la vida mundana persiste. Si no interfiriere, entonces no hay problema. Después de alcanzar este NAN, no tienes a nadie que interfiera. Así que ya va así. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, questioner is then asking, in this life, what is under the control of Vyavasthit and what is under our control? Pregunta, en esta vida, ¿qué está bajo el control de Vyavasthit y qué está bajo nuestro control? So then the other, she says, everything material is under Vyavasthit control and that which is under our control is the real. The awakened awareness all belongs to the real and all that is under our control and everything material is under its or the Vyavasthit's control. Dada se dice, todo lo material está bajo el control de Vyavasthit y todo lo que está bajo nuestro control, con mayúsculas, es lo real. 
Toda la conciencia despierta pertenece a lo real y todo lo que está bajo nuestro control y todo lo material está bajo el control de ella. Mm -hmm. This Chandubai indeed is under the control of Vyavasthit. To that you say, I am Chandubai, and that leads to problems, you see. And that leads to problems. <clears throat> uh, this Chandu, again I read, this Chandubai, this Anila, this Fabiana, this Luz Maria, is under is under the control of Vyavasit. But to that you say, I am Anila, I am Fabiana, and that leads to problems. Now you have attained your state. That is why you can stay at home. You can stay at home as the self. So for those who have not attained their self, Amapura, for them only, there is only the belief, only I am Chandubai, I am doing it, prevails, you see. Mm -hmm. Este Chandubai, en efecto, está bajo el control de Yavasí. A eso le dice, yo soy Chandubai. Y eso conduce a problemas. Ahora tú has alcanzado tu estado, por eso puedes permanecer en casa, como el ser. Así que ahora aquellos que no han alcanzado su ser, para ellos solo prevalece la creencia de que yo soy Chandubai y lo estoy haciendo. Mm -hmm. Questioner, then please explain this link between the self and the Vyavasit Shakti. Dadashri, Vyavasit will take care of all the interactions of the worldly life. Whereas being in awakened awareness, Jagruti, that or to progress as the self, P capital, P capital Purusharth, following the five agnas, these are the special directives given by the Gnani Purush that sustains the enlightened state after the Gnan Vidhi, that is your job. You see, Jagruti, Purusharth, agnas, the rest is not your job. It is under the governance of Vyavasthit. Dada Shri dice, Vyavasthit se encargará de todas las interacciones de la vida mundana. Mientras que estar en la conciencia despierta, Shagruti, para progresar como el ser, el Purushar, siguiendo las cinco armas, las directivas especiales dadas por el Nani Purush, que sostiene el estado iluminado después del Nani Vir. Y es tu trabajo con más oscura. El resto no es tu trabajo. Está bajo el gobierno de Yahweh. Mm -hmm. You have now become the pure soul. Now, what is this relative correction? What is this worldly life? The answer is that it is under the governance of Yavasthet. You are to see that. Whatever is there, you are to see it all first. You have to see it. Therefore, gradually, all that will continue naturally and you will be able to remain as the knower, seer, gnata, drashta. And in applied awareness, upyog as the self. This is all we are trying to say. Now, if someone makes fun of you, if someone makes fun of you, then settle it with equanimity. No matter what anyone does, get your work done by settling with equanimity. Allow it to settle with equanimity. Say you were out and your lock to the home was broken and everything was stolen. 
then when you return and see that there should be no effect on you it is vyavasthit ahora te has convertido en alma pura ahora qué es esta vida mundana la respuesta está bajo el gobierno de yavasti tú debes ver con mayúscula eso todo lo que está allí Tú debes darlo todo. Por lo tanto, gradualmente, todo eso continuará naturalmente y tú serás capaz de permanecer como el conocedor observador, Gnata Grasta, en la conciencia aplicada, Upayok, como el ser. Eso es todo lo que tratamos de decir. Ahora, si alguien se burla de ti, entonces resuélvelo con ecuanimidad. No importa lo que alguien haga, haz tu trabajo resolviendo con ecuanimidad. Y digamos que ha salido y tu cerradura se ha roto y te han robado todo. Entonces cuando vuelves y veas eso ahí, no debería de tener ningún efecto en ti. Como es circula, es ya basta. Mm -hmm. There we are. <laughs> The words are there of our Gnani Purush, right there in front of us, as clear as this daylight on a beautiful cloudless sky. You see? Mm. All you and I have to do is to see, that's all. Don't try to know it. Just see first. Just see. Todo lo que tenemos que hacer es solo ver. No tratemos de conocer. Solo ver. Observar. And in in seeing infinite, in seeing countless objects to being seen, countless scenes. In seeing countless scenes, okay? In ver incontables escenas. Countless scenes. Hmm? Drashya. Arise infinite phases, you see? In arise infinite phases. Hmm? En, en ver las incontables escenas que, que surgen, eh, eh, gracia, ¿no? que surgen infinitas escenas a, a ser vistas. Eh, in all of them, I am completely pure and totally pure you see completely and totally pure ho sampurna shuddha chu sarvanga shuddha chu mm -hmm. uh, you see todas esas soy total y completamente puro that is shuddhatma that is Shuddhatma and that is Prakruti. That is Prakruti without ego. There is no ego in this seeing. You see, there is no ego in this seeing. Mm -hmm. Shuddhatma is Prakruti sin ego en este observar. Yeah, and this seeing, and that is. That is Prakruti. You see, that is how, that is true Prakruti, you see, or Vyavasthit, you know, pra, pra, and that is Prakruti or Vyavasthit. Hmm? That is how pure, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, y 
es que otra cruz es sin ego, es poder, es, es poder ver. Y así, ese es el verdadero Prakrutis y ya va. Uh -huh. Phenomenally beautiful satsang of Dada here in Apta Sutra 2958, you see? Hmm? Maravilloso sutra de Dada, entonces no eres un coche. Yeah. Uh, the Ananti Avasthaoma. Yeah. Uh, you see, in other words, in seeing infinite, sorry, in seeing Ananta Drashyona Jovama, in seeing infinite scenes, arise infinite phases, and these phases uh, are situations, arise infinite situations, you see, uh, because you you have the body, you and I have this, we are in this body, you see, so the, the situations will arise, you see, somebody touches your finger, somebody touches your back, something is happening inside your tummy, something is happening outside, these are all infinite, arise infinite, countless situations and phases, you see, hmm? Eh, poder ver, este, poder ver ¿no? las infinitas escenas eh, hacen surgir infinitas fases y estas son en infinitas situaciones porque tenemos este cuerpo, puede ser que alguien se acerque y toque tu mano, toque tu espalda, algo suceda en tu estómago y estas son, eh, son incontables fases de todo esto. And you see, this, this, this situations and phases are also arising inside, in, in the mind, in the intellect, in the ego that is discharging in, in the chit, you see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yet, in all of that, I am absolutely and completely pure, absolutely and completely pure, and that is who I am. Amapura, Shuddhatma, Shuddhatma. Estas situaciones, estas fases, son todas una descarga de la mente, del intelecto, del ego. En todo esto, yo soy absoluta y completamente alma pura. Mhm, mhm. And you know, and I know now, that there is no ego there. There is no ego. There is no interferer, you see. Ego is the interferer, you see. Um, hmm? Yes. Now we know that no hay ego. Y cuando no hay ego, no hay interferencia. Alguien yeah. interfiera. Ego is the interferer. There is no one to make judgments about this is right or this is wrong or this is pleasant or this is unpleasant. This is good or this is bad. Mm -hmm. There's no one there. No hay absolutamente nadie que haga juicios o de opiniones sobre que esto es bueno, esto es malo, esto es placentero, no es placentero, esto es bien, esto es mal. Yes, there is the one who who makes judgments and who says this is right this is wrong or feels even if he doesn't say it he feels inside this is right this is wrong this is not good this is good this is tasty this is bitter etc but that is all happening and that is scientific, circumstantial, evidence-based. It's evidence-based 
happening in this prakriti in this prakriti this is vyavasthit this is vyavasthit eh si es el que hace juicio o el que siente eh porque puede sentir que está bien que está mal que está broto que es bueno que es malo eh y está sucediendo está sucediendo en el prakriti yeah, uh, uh, and that is happening when the acceptance of this Vyavasthit is the purity of the Prakruti. In other words, the, the, uh, Purity is directly related to the seeing, just seeing makes it pure, just seeing makes it pure. Mm -hmm. Aceptar y abastir es la pureza del Prakruti, y la pureza es ver con mayúsculas. El ver, el observar, solo el ver y el observar te hace puro. You know, we, this word interference is a very big word, you see, in our science of liberation. <clears throat> and this is exactly explained in this beautiful uh, understanding uh, that follows, uh, that was read by our dear Patricia, you see. This, you know, this interference is simply a belief uh, that this is happening to me or I am doing this, you see. I am doing this, you see. Hmm? This is happening to me. Interferencia, ¿no? Es una palabra muy, muy fuerte que está explicado en este sutra. Y es la creencia de que esto no está sucediendo a mí o que yo lo hago. Mm -hmm. There is no doer. Evidences arise and it happens and it goes away and replaced by some more evidences. The evidences are continuously there. The evidences are continuously there. They just arise and quote unquote some kind of work happens and then it is over. But This vision of the pure one is eternal. You see, this pure purity vision of the pure one sees it all. You see, mm -hmm. eh, no hay hacedor, y cuando las evidencias surgen, surgen, eh, se desarrollan y se van. Y luego aparecen nuevas evidencias. La visión de, del puro es ver todo. Yeah, I see. I... Ananta Darshan Vaduchu. I am the one with infinite vision. Sí. Ananta Darshan, la visión. You see this, uh, let me just check something here because I, that, uh, I don't know whether that is gotten translated, uh, uh, share screen, uh, yeah, this, he says just here, besides the 
प्योर सोल वॉट अदर पार्ट रिमेन्स एव सो हम अपूरा सोया हम अपूरा वॉट एल्स इज रिमेनिंग द प्रकृति रिमेन्स एंड इट इज द वन विथ फॉल्स दिस इज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल इट इज द फॉल्टी वन ऐसे इट इज द फॉल्टी वन द प्योर सोल इज ऑलवेज pure was always pure and will forever be pure the impurity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, la además del alma pura que otra cosa permanece no que otra parte permanece y el prakruti pertenece y es el que tiene las faltas el que tiene las faltas es el prakruti mm -hmm. porque el el ser puro siempre fue puro y siempre va a seguir siendo puro. What it is doing, what this prakruti is doing, to tell it, come on, do it, do it better, do it faster, do it better, or to say, don't do it, you see? You're not to do, you, this is the higher state, this is the final state, this is much more beyond whatever Gnani says. The Gnani will say, okay, come on, tell yourself to not do any not to hurt anyone not to you know not to be lazy not you know come on do something do the vidhi do this and do that but you see now where we are where we have arrived this is the highest and the final mm -hmm. esto es lo más elevado y, y, y final no como lo más sí, lo más elevado este que no no no, no tiene que hacer nada de hecho Nada, nada. Yeah, and it's not you should remain. Uh, you can take away the word should. You are to remain as the knower seer. You say it's not you should. You mm -hmm. are to remain. <laughs> Acá dice, eh, tú deberías permanecer como el conocedor observador. Tú deberías. El debería, el should, el deberías, debería, hay que quitarlo. Eh, eh, y tú eres el que permanece en eh, conocedor observador. Entonces, this, eso es ya bastante. This, as I read this Gujarati again, Dada has not said you should remain as the no seer. Dada says you are to remain as the no seer, then it is Vyavasthit. Hmm? Acá eh, Dada no dijo eh, que tú deberías permanecer como el conocedor de observador. Dada dijo tú eres, eh, tú, tú eres permanecer en el conocedor de observador. Entonces sí es Vyavasthit. And and therefore, Dada Shri is saying, Vyavasthit is that in which you remain in the seer and the knower. Knower is the experience of the Ama, whereas seer is the beginning of this process, you see. Seer is the beginning of this process. See what is happening and the intellect is not needed for that. The intellect will say, oh, what's going to happen? I have to do this. What's going to happen? What, you know, something wrong will happen. Who are you to determine right and wrong in this world, you know? Hmm? Mm. Este... El conocedor es la experiencia de, de, del alma y el observador es el comienzo del proceso. Y el intelecto siempre va a estar diciendo que esto es bueno o es malo. ¿Y quién es el intelecto para decir esto? Yeah, sure that, my Bhagavan. There is much, 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 much more in these words that we read. You know, it's a... will continue to rise within us. It's not something that you can read and and accomplish. 
It is something that simply arises as we receive and as we receive and and as we receive and uh, uh, assimilate as we receive and assimilate we uh, to receive you your fingers cannot be like this you see when you receive your fingers have to be closed so that it doesn't slip away from these cracks you see hmm? uh, as you receive and assimilate you 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 assimilate within yourself every word of dada shri as it is you see as it is esto continuará surgiendo no no se trata solamente de leer se trata de recibirlo, de recibirlo y con, con todos los dos puntos para que no se pierda nada y poder asimilarlo, asimilarlo en el estar, asimilar eh, cada palabra de dado. Shudad Mugadwan. Our time is up. I have gone a little bit beyond time. Thank you very much, Marcela and my dear Patricia. Um, until we meet again. Hmm? Thank you, Shudad. Thank you. We are deeply grateful to our Thank dear Miss Dada for Jai Sachidanan. For the words, Jai Sachidanan. Jai, Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidanan. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Gonzalo, Carlos. Yes. 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 Jai Sachidanan. Yeah. Yeah. David. Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidanan. So wonderful to see all of you. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. To be with you. Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidanan. Shuda. Ah, Malu. Yes. Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidanan. Arman. Yes. Jai Sachidanan. Fabi. Jai Sachidanan. Yes. <laughs>